Good afternoon to you all. I am Rasika. Firstly, I have to introduce about my team members. This is Sanjeevani, Charitha, Ibrahim, and Anurag. Today, we are going to analyze the internal and external environment of huge multinational companies, McDonald's versus Starbucks. Mainly about introduction to McDonald's versus Starbucks, internal analysis by SOT factors, external analysis by SOT, Pestle, and Porter's Five Forces method, financial comparison, similarities, differences, finally, conclusion. McDonald's. McDonald is an American hamburger and fast food restaurant chain founded in 1940 as a barbecue restaurant by Mr. Richard and Mr. McDonald. Their vision is our purpose goes beyond what we sell. One of the world's largest restaurant chains services 68 million customers daily in 119 countries. Starbucks, also an American company, coffee company, and coffee house chain, premier roster marketer and retailer for, of specialty coffee in the world, founded in 1971. Their vision is to establish Starbucks as the premier purveyor of the finest coffee in the world while maintaining our uncompromising principles while we grow. It operates 23,768 locations worldwide in 72 countries. Let's see the strength of uh, both companies of McDonald's and Starbucks. McDonald's has variety of foods such as burgers, uh, snacks, uh, different kind of uh, fried chicken and fish products, ice cream, desserts, many more things. And it is one of their strength to canvas customers. If we consider about Starbucks strength, specialized products and differentiation is their strength. They specially specialize for coffee products. No one can get the same taste of Starbucks coffee. Well-known global brand and large global network. As I told you before, McDonald's is expanded to 119 countries all around the world. Even if you ask somebody in Sri Lanka, everybody knows that McDonald is a very famous brand in Sri Lanka as well. But if we consider about Starbucks, Starbucks strength is Starbucks uh, brand name is popular among the only five countries. Very popular. Uh, these countries are China, Japan, Canada, America, uh, and South Korea. But anyway, it's a powerful brand among these five countries as well as around the 72 countries. Temporarily low prices and large number of customers. As I told you before, McDonald's has variety of foods and different price marks. Therefore, McDonald's pr products used by lower level, middle level and higher level income people. For an example, when I was in Dubai, I could buy a McDonald ice cream for the minimum price of one dira. It is equivalent to 40 rupees. But if we consider about the Starbucks products, Starbucks products are highly expensive. But their strength is they have high standard customer base. The person, the people who are willing to get taste by spending their money, that is their strength. High profits. Uh, from uh, both McDonald's and Starbucks can be seen. These uh, profits and other financial part will be discussed by Anuradha when he will be performing financial comparison part. Let's see the weaknesses of McDonald's and Starbucks. McDonald's foods often offering, often viewed as unhealthy for diabetes and heart patients because high calorie and uh, high calorie of their products and menus are not matched with day-to-day -day meals of Asian countries. For an example, if I go to a McDonald's shop to get my lunch today, I will not feel to get it tomorrow because it is not our normal day-to-day -day, uh, menus, rice and curry. And they have, haven't still prepared a meal equal to 
or batch with our meals, curries, rice and curry. If we consider about Starbucks weaknesses, more than half of the profits are generated from America. Actually, I told you, Starbucks has outlet of over 23,000, but out of that, 13,107 outlets are located in America. And 69% of consolidated income is generated from America. If something happened to the American market, what will be happen? Entirely their profits and financial position will be uh, will be problem for them. Higher price points, as I told you before, Mac, uh, Starbucks products are highly expensive. If it be when we compare with normal coffee, Starbucks coffee is ten times higher than normal coffee's price. Generalized standards of most products fear on interruption of supply chain. Most of raw materials are imported from America, and there is a standard. If something happened to their supply chain due to uh, some environmental problem or due to some high tariffs or quotas or some uh, economical policies like loss economical policies or any other reason, if the supply chain uh, they have a problem, they will have the entire production, entire uh, entire production of this Starbucks products uh, will be affected from this. Let's see the opportunities of both companies. Increase the number of health concerns of customers. As I told you, now the product presently, uh, McDonald's products are viewed as uh, not healthy for some diseases, heart and heart patients, uh, diabetes patients, and cholesterol patients like this. But if they produce, if they produce a product to market like uh, vegetable salads, fruit salads, and uh, natural soups, these type of things, they can market and they will have opportunity to promote their products. Expansion in foreign markets, especially in big BRIC countries. BRIC means Brazil, Russia, India, and China. The, these country people, per capita in, income of these countries people are being increased. Therefore, they will have opportunity to promote their businesses in these countries because these people always try to buy highly standard goods now, comparatively what they used before. New technologies development, new way of distribution channels. By using internet and their websites, they can promote, they will have opportunity to promote their businesses. If we, especially if we consider about Starbucks products, Starbucks has further expansion in Asia and the Middle East, and also in China. Starbucks planning to open 3,500 new outlets in China before 2020. They also have technological, uh, they also can use technological, advanced technology to promote their businesses. It also an opportunity for them. Finally, what is the threats, what are uh, threats affected to McDonald's and Starbucks? Intensive competition, changing customer preferences, and favorable economic conditions, risk from the different cultures, changes in tax law, changes in accounting standards, natural disasters, and brand imitation are examples for threats for both McDonald's and Starbucks companies. Uh, the next part of the presentation, crystal analysis, will be done by Sanjeevani. Hi, Lord. Uh, crystal analysis of Starbucks and McDonald's, increasing international trade, trade agreement and pending tax reform, it is opportunity for the McDonald's and involving public health policies, it is threat and the opportunity. Classica will explain about the uh, health. Uh, regional integrations of markets and improving government support for infrastructure, uh, both the opportunity for the Starbucks and bureaucratic red tape in developing countries, it is threat for the Starbucks and economic factors for the both companies. Slow but stable growth of the U.S. economy, it is opportunity for the McDonald's and stable but risky European economy can slow down of the Chinese economy. It is threat for the uh, company growth in uh, McDonald's and regional integrations of market and improving government support for infrastructure, both the opportunity for the uh, Starbucks 
we are writing red tape in the developing countries, it is red for the uh, Starbucks. Uh, social factors for the Starbucks and McDonald's, widening health gap, widening health gap and increasing culture diversity, it is red for the, uh, it is opportunity for the McDonald's, a healthy lifestyle trend, it is a threat and the opportunity for the opportunity for the McDonald's. Uh, growing coffee culture and increasing health consequences and growing middle class all now opportunity for the Starbucks. Technological factors, uh, moderate research and developing activity in the industry and increasing uh, business automation and increasing sales through the mobile drivers all are the opportunity for the McDonald's. Rising mobile purchase and technology transfer to the copy farmers, it is opportunity for the uh, Starbucks. Rising availability of especially uh, coffee machines for the home use, it is spread for the Starbucks. Environment factors, rising interest for corporate environment programs, rising emphasis on the sustainable business strategies, both the opportunity for the McDonald's, climate change, it will be the uh, trade for the McDonald's, business sustainable trend and growing popular support for the responsible sources, both the opportunity for the Starbucks, environmentally friendly product, it is opportunity for the Starbucks, legal factors, uh, new legal minimum wage level in the US and local health regulation in workforce and in schools, uh, both the threat for the McDonald's, and animal welfare regulation, it will be threat and the opportunity for the company. Product safety regulations and GMO regulation outside the United States, both the opportunity for the Starbucks. Increasing employment regulation, it is threat for the company. Uh, why for the steel and that by the this is uh, this is uh, the uh, five forces analysis uh, of McDonald's and SIZ. Uh, when we consider about telecom fragmentation, it is high for both companies. Because uh, McDonald's and Starbucks have many competitors uh, with different such as specialized and specialities. Not only that, uh, surging cost of customer is really low, uh, which means customer can move to uh, other brands very easily since they are a mini customer. And uh, another point is bargaining power of supply is low uh, for both companies because McDonald's has a large number of supply and uh, they don't uh, control uh, their distribution not to, uh, network by themselves. And uh, an abundance of uh, meat and uh, flour can uh, and reduce bargaining power of supply. And um, for a star park also is like that. But they um, they diversify uh, supply their supply chain time by time. And uh, point uh, third point is bargaining power of customer. It is uh, very high for both company because uh, many customers go to uh, fast food restaurant other than uh, McDonald's, uh, including. Uh, food outlet and bakeries and on, uh, on the other hand uh, customer make uh, prefer the cheap item at their home and uh, what uh, Starbuck Starbuck has uh, many subsidies uh, including uh, beverage uh, instant beverage and uh, drinks uh, from restaurant uh, so customers uh, can uh, select other products very easily. And uh, point number four is third of subsidies. Uh, as, um, when we talk about the subway, it has many substitutes, such as um, uh, battery coverage and drinks from grocery stores, and those uh, those uh, those price, uh, drinking price of less than a Starbuck. So, um, customer, so customer uh, uh, select uh, those uh, products. And uh, about McDonald's, there are many uh, artificial producers and uh, local bakeries. So if they want, uh, if they want improve, uh, if they want uh, overcome of this issue, they have improved their 
their quality and their product quality. And uh, last one is threat of new internets. It is a moderate for both companies. Uh, new uh, internets can get to market very easily because of uh, moderate cost of doing business. And these days companies can uh, build, uh, build their supply chain uh, easily uh, and they can uh, improve it due to globalization. And next, uh, Mr. Anurga will explain it. Yeah, thanks for the brand view. And uh, this is the most critical part as uh, compared with uh, industrial relations and as well as in a government mode. Uh, we can see apparently McDonald's always civilians and staff as per the annual reports. So the revenue declined by 7% in 2014 to 2015, but in Starbucks is incremented by 60.5. So the, there are two revenues is there, one is uh, franchised income as well as uh, company owned restaurants. The mostly company owned restaurants income is higher than the franchise one because they want to get the full revenue on that side. If franchise is there, the commission is there. So the operating cost we can see the 6.2 decline because of the revenue decline. But uh, in as per the Starbucks, 50% increase is there. And uh, if you in the uh, investor side, we can see the profit for the year. The 11% decrease is there in 2014 compared with, and 23% uh, is uh, increment is in Starbucks. That's a good investor relationship figure. And if you go to the shareholders, this is the most important one earning per share EPS. But uh, in McDonald's, it's 0.6. Uh, decline is there, that's a very uh, negative one and if the Starbucks is 40% is increment is there if you shareholder, they definitely like the Starbucks so definitely uh, as an investor or shareholder, we, I am recommending to invest in Starbucks in shares or bonus or whatever. So uh, that's the thing and the next slide, I am going to use uh, Mr. Chan. These are the singularities of the McDonald's and the Starbucks. These two companies, the major thing is that they are creating most proud employees. That means they are selecting a selecting employees the uh, most suitable employees because they are providing uh, badges and uh, certificates and other medals to wear on their shirts because they are making them proud and they are uh, displaying their images on the working stations because. They, are, they, they can motivate the, their employees by providing these facilities and these are these two companies are domestically and abroad are these and fully successfully they are doing their businesses in domestically and abroad because of these two reasons they are uh, they have a wide variety of products and high quality products they are doing their business in all around the world and they have large number of customer base and not only that also the powerful CSR activities are also doing these two companies and because of these companies they have excellent reputation and they are using earth friendly materials for their products and these are the differences between these two companies that means McDonald's and the Starbucks McDonald's are doing their businesses in overnight uh, 100 countries why Starbucks doing 72 countries because of that reason the McDonald's have uh, lots of employers and the outlets than the Starbucks McDonald's are doing their business based on the foreign countries why Starbucks doing their businesses in mainly based on USA because of that reason McDonald's uh, gain annual revenue more than 33 billion by Starbucks gain 27 billion. The when we consider the prices of the these two companies, the Starbucks prices are very high and the McDonald's prices and the waiting time is very low in McDonald's and Starbucks is very high. When we consider the calorie percentage of these two companies, McDonald's from foods are providing very high calorie percentage and the Starbucks are providing 
low percentage of calories. This conclusion part will be done by Amra. Thanks for chance to invite me. As per the conclusion, McDonald's and the Starbucks are community oriented. Socially responsible companies with uh, excellent reputation. Both McDonald's and Starbucks have its own marketing strategies for promoting its brands and products. Even though they each specialize in a different product and target a specific consumer base, however, each company has been successful in their various marketing strategies and promotional strategies while adapting to the global cultural differences with. Uh, taking food safety very seriously and as per the recommendation we recommend that McDonald's needs focus on services differentiation strategy in order to position the restaurant as a superior service in the restaurant in the minds of target consumers and uh, the service differentiation strategy implies that McDonald's shall offer superior service at each step of customer touch points right from the placement of order through the delivery of the products and uh, we recommend that Starbucks can offer additional products and services features such as food on demand and doorstep home delivery so as to provide the convenience to customers. Product quality can be further enhanced with fresh ingredients. Starbucks should contribute to invest in menu customization and uh, menu standardization strategies to attract, connect with more customer base in diverse market segments. So the references are like this. And any questions? Uh, thank you for the audience.